Good morning boys and girls and welcome back to the farm. We're very glad you could be here. Winter has descended on the farm and I thought it might be fun to have a look at some of the things that we can see during the winter months. Let's have a look. Before we start to explore the winter weather, we thought we'd better introduce you to a new member of our family. Come and meet her. Hi kids, how you doing? Since I last seen you, we've got a new addition to the family. This is Daisy Dog. She's a little thymaraner girl. And uh, she's lovely, she likes to chew a bit. Her new teeth are just coming in, so she, uh, she likes to chew and stuff all the time. Isn't she lovely though? This is my new uh, helper on the farm. Little Daisy is only very young. So everything is new to her. You can see her here beginning to explore the wonderful world around her here on the farm. She loves running so fast in the wide open fields. As you can see, it's been very, very wintry overnight. We've got quite a lot of frost and we've got quite a lot of snow on the ground too. So we're going to have a little look and see what we can see. Come on. All right kids, how you doing? We're just out for a wee walk, just down for the farm here. We've just noticed this on the ice. And if you look out there, you can see where the ice has been broken. A little fella's popped onto the ice and he's walked across and he's gone back through the ice there. And that's been an otter. And he's been up there, we'll be looking for wee fish just now. What we can see here are the footprints of the otter, as well as the tail dragging along behind it. Brilliant. The frost and snow make really, really pretty formations, as you can see here. The snow lands softly on all the branches in the woodlands. It's leaving a carpet of white all round the farm. So pretty. Daisy loves exploring the snow. So as we've seen, there's been a lot of frost and snow arrived at the farm and the temperatures have dropped below zero. Now, as we know, water freezes at zero degrees Celsius. What we're going to explore is using some of our mathematical skills and numeracy skills, we're going to have a little look at negative numbers as that is what the temperatures on the farm have actually dropped to. Let's have a look. I've drawn a special number line or scale on the fence post here. We're thinking about temperatures in degrees Celsius and this is how we would write that. As the numbers descend or go down from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now there's the zero. That's where the water freezes. And anything below zero, the temperature is becoming colder and colder. Minus three, minus four. The further down we go, the colder it gets. The further up the fence post or the temperature scale, the warmer it is. As you can see from the digital thermometer on the car, the temperatures in bar here at the farm have been very low indeed. There's minus three. just there and we're even down as far as minus 5, minus 6.5 and in fact even minus 7 degrees Celsius and 7.5. Now I thought we'd start to have a little look as well when it's beginning to be cold temperatures how the simple water drop coming off the gutter can begin to form icicles. The simple drip 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 in these cold conditions, does in fact start to create icicles, just like this. And in along the river bank, you can see just how spectacular they can look. A really nice thing we can do to look at the properties of ice is to make little ice sculptures for the farm here. Now this is something you also can do at your homes. So first things first, we need to collect some natural things that are around the farm. 
and with those we're going to make some nice transient art. Let's go. So first of all, cut off the lid or the top half of a bottle, begin collecting our natural resources, pop them in your tray, put a little yoghurt pot or smaller pot inside the cup, oh. add water, carefully insert the smaller dish on the top and now we're ready to pop them in the freezer. Once they've come out, you can see your natural ice art, ready to decorate the garden. Now if you want to, you can put a little tea light inside them, or simply explore with a torch. If the temperature is cold enough, they will make a lovely winter wonderland, especially for your gardens. Beautiful. Bye bye boys and girls, I'll see you again here at the farm tomorrow.